Hey y'all, how's it going? It is just me again. Um, I've tried to get people on. I've been talking to people, trying to schedule stuff, but I don't know. It feels like people don't understand how important it is to me, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm not articulating enough. I don't know if it's my fault or not. Uh, it does feel like nobody else is taking it serious. Like it's like, oh, let's hang out sometime type of thing and not something I'm trying to do for a living and something that help make, helps me mentally and all that stuff. Like, I don't know. But I'm going to keep trying to get people on. Um, I don't want to skip a month, though. And I figured this be a good month to have an anxious conversation about uh, 2023 and um, talk about the plans and goals for 2024. I set goals for 2023. I didn't achieve most of them. As y'all know, I've talked about it. Something happened near the beginning of the year last year that changed everything. And um, I would say made it harder for me to reach a lot of those goals because I became a lot more depressed and a lot more down. And I started to lose all my energy and just didn't want to do anything and it was hard to even get myself out of bed a lot of days, so getting myself to edit a video or edit shorts or focus on schoolwork or any of that stuff was uh, not in the cards a lot of days. It was harder for me to stream longer streams a lot of the time, too, so there's a lot of, like, shorter one- to two-hour streams rather than what I like to do with, like, four- to five-hour streams and just due to the lack of energy and everything. So I don't want to set that type of goal this year. I don't want to be, I don't want to set like a certain amount of subs I want to get or a certain uh, amount of videos I want to get out or a certain amount of shorts or any of that. Um, I, I think more so I want to um, set goals, like talk to friends more or talk to people more regularly. Um, I try to reach out to people a lot and I don't get stuff back but that's the my in-person friends that um kind of struggle to hear back from I think I need to get better at uh reaching out to people online I want to get in uh, I want to start joining in discord group calls more often and just hang out and chill with people just message people on discord do a little bit more collabing I've been doing a lot lately but just stuff like that um the live streams don't do as well for me as solo streams, but I think uh, communi talking with people and stuff could be a big thing for me. Um, I also want to try to visit people, though that's going to be hard. That's something I'm not going to like. be like, hey, can I come see you to somebody, to friends and stuff? So that's going to be more on it. If other people are like, hey, this is going on or whatever, I'm like, oh, I'll come, whatever, stuff like that. But I'd like to do that. Obviously, we have AWA. Um, I'm looking at traveling to see, to visit somebody and stuff like that already. Um, so I think that'll be big. Uh, I just want to try to, I, I know that I'm probably not going to be back to like, where I was in 2022, where I, I feel like I was genuinely happy f most of the time. I don't think I can be that back there in 2024, most likely. Unless things just change drastically. Um, but I do want to try to smile more and just be content more often than depressed. I know I'm not going to, like I said, I know it's not going to be often that I'm just genuinely happy. Um... But I would like to, like I said, be at a place where I'm okay um, more often than where I'm not. More often than where I'm contemplating things and contemplating how much I want to keep fighting and fearing how much longer I might have left and stuff like that. You know. So the goal is to kind of not be in that place and I want to take steps towards getting better um, and working on myself 
So that's kind of the goal for the year. Because last year, what, I set to go up to the doctor regularly. I don't even think I saw the doctor a single time. Um, the shorts thing, I wanted to do three a week. It probably averages out to three a week from how many shorts I did. I didn't get one video out a month, but I did get a decent... I mean, if you count the podcast, I probably did average out to a video a month. Um, because I have posted other videos too. Uh, the subscriber count, I don't even remember what the goal was, but I know we didn't reach that. Uh, school, I didn't keep the grades that I wanted. I still did really well. Like, I got all A's and B's. It's just I wanted to keep all A's. But I also said in that video that if other if the other goals needed me to take a step back from school and get a B instead of an A, then I would focus on the other goals over that. But I think a lot of the times it was more just trying to get up my, myself out of bed and do schoolwork. That was the struggle. Um, one of my B's was just because I was I had to socialize with eight people I didn't know. And I just ate random people at work. Got to go take pictures of them at work. I was like, I'm not doing that. So I was like, I'll just take the B rather than have a panic attack trying to talk to each person. Um... Yeah, but so I don't want tangible. I won't. I don't want goals like that this year because I don't want to end the year feeling like I failed the goals. I do like having a sub goal for the end of the year and like, oh, if we reach this, let's celebrate or whatever. But also, if I set a goal and I don't reach it, it kind of messes with me and gets me down. So I don't think that it's smart to do that because a lot of it is like there is a lot in my control, but there's also a decent amount out of my control too with how the algorithm is and. Stuff like that. Um, how lucky I am with... There's... Obviously, it's not... A, there is luck involved. There's other stuff involved. But I just don't want to um, set a goal based on just that. So, but I do want... I'm, I'm, I'm hoping... Because 2022 was one of my best years if not my best year at least in my adult life where i was generally happy i was enjoying life i felt like i was in a good place and I, I didn't feel like i needed much more i just wanted to keep growing the youtube channel and stuff like that i wasn't really i, I didn't really feel like i was missing much um 2023 was one of the worst years of my life um I started to feel really alone again due to obviously reasons. Um, started to feel more like a failure again. Just started to get down on myself and uh, things started to feel hopeless again, I would say. It's like, can I truly get out of this? I got out of it for a couple of years, but I'm right back here. Like, is, that, is there, if I'm going to keep coming back to this place down in this hole? Do I want to keep fighting to get out and stuff like that? So, um, yeah, I did keep my weight loss goal. I was like, I want to get under 200 pounds and stay under 200 pounds. I got under 200 pounds in like May. And I don't think I went back over a single time. I know I'm not over now. I'm at 192 at the moment, which I'm definitely more. At one point I was down in the low 180s um, over the summer. But, you know, with the holidays and stuff, I kind of gained a little bit of weight back. But I'm working on that. Um, I started a channel on the on my discord link down below th that i need to keep a little bit better up with but that's tracking my workouts and my weight and everything to try to help motivate me a little more and with the hopes that people seeing that can help motivate them as well to reach their health goals i would say it doesn't have to be the fitness side or weight loss just um but yeah, i'm just keeping track of my workouts and um my weight and stuff to try to hopefully motivate me more and be like well i need to do i don't want to show them that i did 10 push-ups today i need to do 100 of them so i do hope this year i can get my weight down more and keep it down lower but i don't want to set again i don't want to set a goal that feels even if it's something easily attainable because then it makes it feels even worse if i don't get it you know uh I've always been someone to plan. I plan ahead like a lot, like years and years. I just, and then every time it fails, which it almost always does, uh, it really messes me up. Like, 
oh, I want to be married by this age with kids by this age. And I'm well past that at 31. Or I want to be, I want to go to school for this and then become this and then start my own business is like something I planned early in high school. And it's like maybe even middle school. So I knew I wanted to be an engineer early on. Um, and then I was in college and I was like, I don't really want to be an engineer anymore. And I was like, okay, I planned everything. I was like, I'm going to join the army. I'm going to stay in for the six year contract. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get out and do this. And then I joined the army and didn't get to stay in for six years. Uh, and then I went to college. I finished up college. I was like, I'm going to go to college. I'm going to get my degree. I'm going to work in this field doing this. And then I can't, I couldn't even find a job using my degree. So, um, but now I have YouTube and while it's both not growing as fast as I hope, but growing faster than I thought it would, I'm also sticking to it more than I thought. I'm not usually good at self, the self motivating thing, but for some reason with the YouTube channel, I can, I stream every day. Like obviously I take breaks here and there, but I, I went over a year at one point streaming every day. I edit less than I'd like to, but I still get myself to sit down and edit at times. And I don't spend as much time on thumbnails that I'd like and stuff like that. I keep putting the podcast off until the last day. But it's more of me trying to get somebody to come on than anything, I think. And hoping, holding hope out that somebody's going to come on. It's getting harder and harder to get these episodes to be long enough. And I keep trying to come up with excuses to why it's okay to be shorter. I'm like, oh, this is the New Year's episode, me just setting goals. It's fine if it's a short episode. This does replace, I probably would have done some type of regular video talking about my goals. So this is literally just the same thing, just listed as the podcast. Hopefully next month we can get a guest on. If anybody's watching this and wants to come on or has something that they think I should discuss or anything, I am open to any suggestions because... Next month, I'm not going to have a holiday to speak around. Like, New Year's is kind of like, oh, I have goals. I want to do this on whatever. Um, Christmas, the last episode about holiday depression and stuff. Which mine wasn't too bad this year, I don't think. Because I knew going in, like, oh, it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. I'll be okay. Um, and content's been going better. And when content's going well, it helps me feel a lot better. It gives me more hope. And makes me feel a little bit more love and uh, less alone. Because loneliness, I think, is one of my big things. Is I'm always feeling alone. Still need to get out, see friends, do something, hang out. I haven't. I keep trying to plan stuff with people, and I can't. I did get to go visit one friend who lives a couple hours away, well, like an hour and a half away, um, during December. So that was nice to finally get out and do that. Uh, but I want to. This year, I would like to. Tr even visit friends from on, that I've only met online. Um, it'd be nice. I think it'd be good for me mentally. How AWA was for me, I think that I learned a lot. Like I can, I can get better. I can be happy. I can enjoy myself, even if it's not every day. Like I was in 2022. I'd like to have some days like that, more so than just that one weekend when I'm in Atlanta. So hopefully I'm able to do stuff like that. Um, maybe I can get myself to feel okay asking a friend, like, hey, can I come visit for a little bit or something? Maybe hopefully somebody sees this and reaches out. It's like, hey, you can come. Uh, just, there's like, I think there's a decent amount of friends I've met online that I'd feel okay going to meet in person and go hang out or whatever. I know uh, some that aren't too far and stuff that could be we could like just go to meet up somewhere and do something i don't know um because awa is so long away it's in december i think can go do some other convention with somebody or go on some type of vacation or something i don't know um i think now i'm just trying to stretch this episode out i definitely have more i wanted to talk about can't remember it should have taken notes i am bad at doing that I'm very bad at doing that. And then if I did, I would have forgot where they were and then not open them or something too, probably. But, um, yeah, I, I do, like I said, 
So basically for this year, I want to try to smile more. I want to try and obviously just keep the channel growing. Um, I want to try to put myself first a little bit more. Uh, I think those are like the main things. Uh, focus on my mental health and focus on getting out of this hole that I've been in for eight months now, seven months now. Uh, I want to, because uh, I feel like it's affecting my streams and stuff too. I feel like that all causes my anxiety to be higher, which causes me to be have a shorter fuse, which causes me to get upset during streams, and then I feel bad after, which makes me even more depressed or sad or down, and then I just becomes a cycle. So, uh, yeah, I think the goal is to try to put myself first. Um, try to find something to find people that are enjoy the same things I do and closer to me, or maybe look into moving. Who knows about that? Um, but because I, uh, I know that was the biggest thing before is having somebody to hang out with that likes to just almost all the same stuff you do. When you meet somebody and like y'all watched most of the same movies or and the most of the same TV shows as each other and both some most of your favorites are kind of in line with each other. It's nice to have somebody who enjoys stuff like that. Uh, somebody who enjoys anime like I do or musicals or um, going to going to a nicer place to sit down and eat. Uh, I know a lot of my friends are like, oh, I don't want to go do that. I don't want to spend that much on it. But it's nice to do that sometimes, you know, just go sit down in a nice restaurant, get some nice food, even if you have to pay a little bit. I just enjoy that. Uh, but yeah, just I need to try to meet people who align closer to with what I like to do and what I what I enjoy doing and what makes me happy because while I can enjoy this stuff on my own it's nowhere near the enjoyment that I get with doing it with other people obviously it takes away from the loneliness and I get joy out of the, the other person's joy and all that stuff so all that kind of combined really helps uh, so the problem is uh, us nerdy people us geeky people uh tend to have social anxiety more often than not so it's hard to find people into the same things that i'm into it's also nice to have somebody that understands that aspect of the mental health and the anxiety and the so they're not judging you the first time you hang out over the fact that you're not talking because your social anxiety is crippling you Uh, I know it's a lot to ask to find that in one person, but I've I've met people like that before, so I can definitely do it in the past. I mean, in the future, but also like like I said, it tends to be more common with the people who enjoy the same things I do. So I know some of it's like uh, finding somebody to go to musicals with me isn't going to be the easiest thing, but it'd be nice to have somebody to go to see musicals with. So I enjoy them a lot, uh, or like certain movies like really artsy movies that i like to go see i thought i only saw like three or four movies last last year uh i have a lot of movie tickets saved up because i'm part of a subscription thing uh, i think my favorite one was banshees of banshees of inishirin which was first off halfway through the movie i kind of was like i don't know if i want to watch the rest of this but i liked the story and like it made me think and there are parts that made me laugh there are parts that made me sad uh but I like artsier movies and stuff like that at times, too. But also, like, I mean, two of the other movies I watched were Godzilla movies, so. Is what it is, and I saw Fast and Furious in theaters with a friend. So, I can have the fun movies with the artsy, like, good movies and stuff, too. Uh, I think that's about it. I think I've just been rambling <laughs> to try to get this episode longer. But I think I got my goals out there. I think it's a smart thing for you to do as well. Uh, don't set a number on things. Don't don't try to be like, oh, I want to do this exact like 
like I said with the subscriber goal, if I was to say I want four thousand subscribers this year, I mean there's there's a chance it happens, right? Four thousand is not outrageous compared to where we currently are or anything. But that also means that if I don't hit four thousand, I'm gonna feel like I, I messed up. I did something wrong. I'm failure. I'm not reaching this goal, and it can really mess with you mentally. It's better to set a goal of something like eat healthier, not like eat an average of this much many calories a day or something. That's kind of harder to do, but you can set a goal such as eat healthier, smile more. Um, you can even just say, I want to lose weight or go to the gym more often. Don't be like, I want to go to the gym three days a week because you don't know where your mental state is going to be in eight months. And then in 12 months, when you're looking back on the goal you set for the year, um, and you're like, oh, I didn't go to the gym three times a week. You feel like you failed. But if you do go to the gym three times a week for those first eight months, and in 12 months, you're like, I said I wanted to go to the gym more often. I mean, I did go to the gym more often. I might have started faltering towards the end of the year, but I did go more often, and I did better this year, so I can do, I just do a little bit better the next year. Uh, I think, obviously, having a goal to reach can be motivating, but not hitting it can also really mess with you mentally. So I think obviously it's going to differ per people per person. I think the weight loss thing for me, um, setting a tangible goal helped. I think a lot of the other things were just, uh, I don't think I'm that down about the subscriber goal. Cause at, at, for a while I was worrying about it. I was like, oh, I'm not going to reach what I th wanted to reach this year. But then eventually it was just like everybody's struggling. I'll find my thing. I'll find my niche. I'm doing well right now, but it's also December, so everything's doing well now. But, um, yeah. So just remember that, like, sometimes a, a more broad, vague goal, such as doing something more often, can be enough. And not only can it be enough, it can be... It, if you don't, if you, it's more of a, you can look back on that and, and know how your year went and be like, this happened. So the fact that I still did go to the gym more often, or I still did eat healthier, even though I was going through this thing, that could be good rather than being like, oh, I failed because of this thing even though this like what happened with me and stuff and being down all year and stuff if i was to like grow my channel or uh, stream regularly or upload shorts more regularly which i've done um that would feel better especially looking back i'm like this happened to me this year i was in a bad place for most of the year and i was still did I still did better. I still posted more shorts. I still streamed regularly. I still did that rather than having that goal that I didn't reach that was a number-based thing. So I think it would have been better for me, and that's why I set the goals I did this year to be more uh, more, more vague and like stuff like that and something that I can look back on and be like, I did it. I do want to... One other goal, though. I do want to do new things, come up with new ideas. I know I've done a lot. I, I know I've been told by bigger streamers and stuff. Some of my ideas are really good, and they're like, oh, keep up with your ideas. I have a lot of ideas I want to work on, and I want to start getting to work on those ideas that I feel like are different and can be fun, and I, I really enjoy that aspect of things, and just doing new things and seeing how it goes and when they fail improving on it and try not to get frustrated when it's not working because sorry to my mods that I always get frustrated when we're doing something new and it just doesn't work the way I want it to but uh, yeah that could be something that I could I mean just doing one new thing I guess is still something new but I have a lot of ideas we've made a lot of ideas um on stream, actually, I made a list and stuff. So that could be the last goal to end this one off. Um, I hope everybody has a better 2024 than 2023. Even if you had an amazing 2023. I hope 2024 is even better. And then 
if you were down in 2023 like me, remember one year can drastically change things. Because 2020, like I said, 2022, the best year of my life that I can remember. It's the one, 2021, 2022 is like the times I can remember. The only times I can ever remember being happy genuinely. So, uh, things can change drastically. I know this is just a, a year change. So, the timing, because I didn't start getting down until a few months into the year. Everything that happened until a few months into the year with me mentally, um, with, uh, every, with, I don't know, just everything compounding month after month. I, I, I it did start like last December or no, it was like, uh, December or November when I really started like going down a little bit, but then it started to speed up more, but it, it was like, I think it was like last December is when I could feel myself starting to fall, sink back into the hole. So it wasn't just one thing, obviously, that the one, one there were a couple of things that really had a huge impact, but there was a lot of other compounding things that all worked together too. Oh. So I don't want anybody to think it was just one, in, one instance, one incident, one person or anything that uh -oh, did it. Um, though there were ones that had bigger impacts than most other things. Um, but yeah, I know it's just a year change, but the year change is usually like, oh, I'll set goals type of day thing and everything. So that's more so why I wanted to do this. And I need to stop rambling. Uh, so we almost got to 30 minutes. I don't think that's bad. I want to do 45 minute episodes. I think it'll be better if I can freaking convince anybody to come on. I swear it'll happen at some point. I hope. Fingers crossed. I've been trying. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully we have an episode next month that people will come on. Until then, I'm sorry. I love you all. And hope to see you back here next time.